There is no rest for Trinity Boys basketball. One night after dueling with top-ranked Thompson and falling 49-39, the Titans had another top-five opponent in fourth-ranked Four Winds Minnewaukan. And a second loss would almost definitely mean the Titans falling out of the top ten. They're over at the MSU Dome today for the Dale Brown Classic, and we begin early in the second. Trinity's Eric Kanopic driving baseline, gets the hoop plus the harm. Free throw makes it 11-8 in favor of four wins. Soon after, Matthew Stafford with the pick, sprinting in transition. This one too hard off the glass, but Kanopic is there for the putback, and we are tied at 13. Four wins did a lot of this. Down low to Bronson Walter, and the 6-9 big man gets a three-point play. Indians lead. Trinity keeping face pace as Stafford attacks for two, but in the second half, there's just no stopping that man. Bronson Walter, the hook shot is money. They went up 12 there, and the Indians improved to 5-0 on the year. And then we had Beulah taking on the St. John Woodchucks. And early on, Trey Brandt proven why he's one of the most dangerous freshmen in the state. Give him room and he'll do that. Two zip minors. After a Woodchuck miss, it's Brandt starting the transition offense to Chad Morissette Jr. The pump fake here and then the kind bounce off the rim puts Beulah up four. Woodchucks would eventually get going. Bradley Defender driving baseline for two to make it 10-4 Beulah. But the minors were just too much. Brandt skips it over to Morissette Jr. who gets his defender in the air and then hits the jumper. Cool as a cucumber. And Coach Brandt gets his 400th coaching win as Beulah wins it 50-31. And another Region 7 appearance in Minot as Hazen taking on Trenton. In the fourth, Hazen up 10 and Austin Richter picks off the Tigers pass. He's headed the other way and he'll finish off the glass. Hazen goes up 66-54. So Trenton has to press and Michael Martinez gets the steal. A nice lay-in to make it a 10-point game. But the Bison adjust as Garrett Ward breaks the press and finds Jace Zern for the layup. And Hazen would put this one away 68-62. Now there's 